Good morning, Liberty North, and happy Thursday. I'm Lauren Watt. And I'm Lily Millen. Your KNET News starts now. Your KNET News starts. 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 Now. Stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We no longer have the Eagle's Nest upstairs as a flex hour zone during the school day unless you have fifth hour online school. Academic support will continue to be at the learning stairs with the LMC available as a quiet study zone and the cafeteria available as a social zone. On December 6th through the 13th, the LMC will be closed as a flex zone for hours 1 through 4 each day for EOC testing to take place. The LMC will reopen as a flex zone for hours 6 through 8 on each of those days. Students in flex for hours 1 through 4 may select the cafeteria as a social space or the learning stairs as a quiet space during the EOC testing window. Your Liberty North cheerleaders are hosting a breakfast with Santa on Saturday, December 4th. Tickets are $10 at the door or you can get a discounted price of $8 if you buy online. Liberty North now has a food for thought pantry. The pantry was made possible by Feed Northland Kids and is available to students and families who would benefit from the support. Students will be able to shop, choose items of their liking, and make pantry requests. 15 days of festive fun spirit days started yesterday. Today's theme is winter vacation and Friday is flannel Friday. Check your email to see the rest of the days and make sure to show your spirit as we finish off the year. The Eagles Rocket League team won last night four games to none in a best of seven match. The Eagles will move on to, on to the Sweet 16 and play Orion High School out of Illinois Friday night at 4 p.m. You can watch the Eagles play at Ellen Eagle Esports on Twitch and we wish you the best of luck. I don't know about you, Lily, but I love Starbucks. Me too. Thanks to Allie and Grace, they tried them for us. Let's see what they thought. Hello, Liberty North. I'm Allie Klug. And I'm Grace Slater. And today we're going to be getting you guys in the Christmas spirit. We're going to Starbucks right now, and we're getting seven drinks to try. They may all not actually be new to Starbucks, but they're all new to us, so we're going to try them. Your Starbucks review starts now. We got the drinks. Woo! We got drinks the goods. Secured. We got drinks secure. So we're gonna go ahead and start trying them. This is a short pumpkin cream. Egg. Cream, cream, cream. Just kidding. That is so good. Try that. That may be the, one of the best drinks I've ever had. That is so good. That's really good. Okay, next one. Peppermint white hot chocolate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't like that one. <laughs> oh, I don't like that one at all. Oh, I really like that one. See, we have different tastes, and I don't like it at all. Okay, so it just tastes really like a peppermint hot chocolate. It doesn't really taste like a white hot chocolate. Okay. Caramel oh, creme brulee. That one. I'm excited for this one. No? It's pretty good. Mmm. Very hot. I don't know what it tastes it's like. It tastes like it's something. It's coffee. Like this one is, is definitely more coffee. This one is a. Oh, sugar almond, cookie. Sugar, no, sugar, sugar cookie, cookie almond milk cream frappuccino. I'm so excited. I love sugar cookies, so I'm going to try it, right? <laughs> It's like a liquid cookie. Wow. It's definitely very sugary, but, but that it's tastes not really like, good. It's not like super sweet to where it like makes your teeth hurt. It's just sweet. Um, This one is the apple crisp frappuccino. I'm very I'm excited. I'm so about excited. It. it has a really good taste. Okay. Did they not give us napkins? I like that one. Mm. Do you not like it? I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that one. It's your steamed apple juice. Okay, I got steamed apple juice. I've never had steamed apple juice. I'm so it's excited. It's just hot apple juice. Yes, but I love apple juice. Like, I buy apple juice so once. It's hot apple juice. 
I'm gonna give that like a six. Mm, so good. I'm gonna give it an eight. Nope, you know what? Nine. Okay. What is your favorite drink of the day? Of the day, probably either the sugar cookie or the chestnut praline. Yeah. So either they the pumpkin were cream or the sugar cookie was my favorite. For but sure. they were all good. Like, I like them all. They were so good. So, thanks for coming along with us. And I hope this got you in the Christmas spirit. And we will see. Those look so delicious, and I can't wait to try them. Me too. Justin, what's your favorite thing at Starbucks? I think my favorite thing at Starbucks is definitely the double cho chocolate chip frappuccino. It's one of my favorite drinks, and I get it all the time. Well, welcome back to your North Nation Sports Report. I'm Justin Scott, and to start off today's show, the Liberty North Invitational Basketball Tournament starts on Monday. The men's bracket features teams from Liberty North Varsity and JV squads, Olathe East, Baser Linwood, KC Northeast, St. Joe Central, Park Hill, and in the women's bracket, Liberty North, Kearney, Staley, St. Pius X, Lincoln Prep, St. Joe Central, Raytown, and Baser Linwood. There's a lot of competition in this year's tournament, so make sure to tune in next week on our North Nation Media YouTube channel for all of the tournament's action. Justice Braden is one of many multi-sport athletes here at North. We talked to with him on what it's like transitioning from football to basketball. Uh, it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of cool to go straight from football to basketball, like, because I'm getting, I'm getting to play uh, within four days. At the same time, I've only been practicing for four days, so uh, my games and all the football players, we're going to be a little bit off right now, but as soon as we start to practice a little bit more, we'll be good. Uh, the football and track and field stadium has a new, new name today. In the past, the field was always called Zaxby's Field, but now the field has been renamed to Spencer Financial Field at the Crossley Family Activity Complex. Intramural volleyball is tomorrow in the Ox Gym at 6.30 a.m. Anyone is welcome and no experience is required. For more information, please contact Coach Bennett. Thank you for turning in to your North Nation Sports Report today. I'm Justin Scott, War Eagle. Thanks, Justin. I can't wait to watch the basketball tournament next week and all the other winter sports. Me too as well. Until then, we will catch, catch you on, on the, the North, North Side. side.